Suppose you want to make something look like it's fading in or fading out of a picture. Now you can do that with the blend tool and the eraser and a lot of blending and manipulating the image, or you can do it with a mask. And today we're going to do it with a mask. So here I have this magician that I designed. It's part of a cap heads um, series I've done. And um, I want him to look like he's fading into the picture or fading out of the picture, maybe appearing like a magician. So I'm going to go to that layer with him on it and I'm going to tap the thumbnail and I'm going to apply a mask and you'll see it puts this little white um, layer on top of it. And when you have a mask on something, black and white are the main colors that you use. So if I draw on this mask layer and you'll see I'm on the mask layer with black, you'll see the image starts to disappear. So I'm not erasing it, it's still there but I'm drawing a mask on top of it, almost like I'm covering it up with paper. And you can see it in the mask there. Now, if I go with white, it'll come back because it's like I'm erasing the mask. So we're gonna use that technique to make this magician disappear or at least fade in from the bottom. So I'm gonna use black and I'm gonna go across my picture the entire bottom from side to side. I'm going edge to edge, you just can't see it. And I'm drawing it with black and I'm gonna fill that in. Now I didn't do the logo on purpose, just doing him. And you'll see on the image from side to side, it's filled in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my adjustments layer and use motion blur this time because I want it to look like it's moving in their direction. And I'm going to drag from top to bottom or bottom to top and blur that image and give it the motion. As you'll see, it's starting to have that appearance of fading in because I'm blurring the mask. I'm making the white kind of fade into the design. And the more I do it, the more it'll look like he's appearing where I can have the bottom disappear and have it kind of blend in that way. Now I could just do it this way. I could also, I'm gonna bring that mask back and do nothing. And in the middle, I'm gonna put gray. Now what gray does, it kind of fades an image. So if I put gray on the bunny up here, you'll see it looks like he's kind of faded away or erased because it's like a partial mask. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom with the gray in the middle here. I'm gonna go across drag it in so it's just on the middle of the image has that middle mask i'm going to get my motion blur do the same thing but now it's going to have more of a um almost more of a subtle effect or a lighter blend towards the top so i've got that gray in there let's do it one more time so now i have that look where it looks like the magician is kind of appearing and doing a trick like he's vanishing, he could be vanishing or he could be appearing onto the page. So that's how you can use a mask to make something look like it's fading in or fading out of a picture. Hope you find this video useful and I'll see you next time.